Hello, and welcome to Keymaster, a series of guides on Goku in Super Smash Bros. 2. One of the more interesting and often overlooked aspects of Goku's kit is his up special, Instant Transmission. In this small video, I'm going to be discussing how best you can use this move in the neutral game, as well as its offensive utility. So with that, let's get straight into it. There are four variations of Goku's use of landing instant transmission, which is effectively and functionally the same as teleporting straight into the ground. These variations include grounded teleport, short hop teleport, low float teleport, full hop teleport, double jump teleport, and float teleport. In terms of utility, you generally want to stay clear of both grounded and double jump teleport. In the case of grounded teleport, it incurs arguably the strictest landing lag penalty of all of Goku's landing teleports, and it doesn't benefit Goku with the slide that comes with the other forms of teleport. Whilst in the case of double jump teleport, you can't really do much with the tech that full hop teleport can't already do outside of fast falling. Where Goku's teleport in neutral shines the most is out of the short hop and a full hop. This is mostly because of something that's been generally referred to as the teleport slide. Landing teleport from this height will carry the momentum into landing, which gives you a small boost. However, short hop teleport is generally outlast by doing a low float teleport, such as the one you see here. Low float teleport removes a lot of the predictability of the short hop by leaving you super close to the ground, as well as allowing you to mix up the various angles and travel distance. However, the general principle remains mostly the same. Full hop teleport gives you a similar slide and landing lag, but it's a bit more telegraphed despite having a bit less landing lag. One of the best uses of the teleport slide is on platforms, because you can edge cancel the slide, and then immediately do the same sort of thing after edge canceling the slide, which allows for further movement mix-ups. Interestingly, you can turn around within the initial animation to fake out teleporting in a specific direction, by pressing either left or right during the disappearing animation, which can serve as a decent fake out for Goku to bait a retreat or an aggressive option. There are two distinct hitboxes, which I will refer to as the grab and the kick. We're going to talk about what these hitboxes actually entail and can do. Pretty much none of the move hitboxes combo, however each one does have a specific use. The grab has its purpose as an edge guarding because you no longer go into free fall if you land the hit. So should you decide to pursue aggressively off stage or just opt to throw them off stage and recover back to replenish your off stage resources, you can. The damage is also pretty respectable too at 15%. You can confirm into the grab via landing there, up air, Kaioken, Kaioken Dan B, and up tilt at low percent. The grab also works wonders as a horizontal kill move off stage, or at the very least something that will put your opponent in a bad position. It's also a very solid out of shield option. The kick hitbox is usually the result you get when you delay your follow up. It can be comboed into from the same things as grab if you delay the follow up, as well as Kaioken attack and up throw. It's a decent anti air move and it can kill at high percents, but it's a bit more difficult to land due to precise spacing of the move required in order for you to not get the grab. Kaioken's version of instant transmission is near enough the same, however there's a specific type used for recovering with Kaioken. If you teleport just before Kaioken runs out, you'll get your up B back, allowing you to teleport twice. It's pretty neat, albeit situational. That's all I've got to talk about in this episode of Key Mastery. Let me know if there are any topics you would like me to cover in future episodes, and I'll see what I can do. The next episode will likely be about Kaioken and its specifics.